An important case regarding standard form agreements and especially exclusion clauses contained in standard form agreements is the case of Tilden Rent-A-Car and Clendenning, which is from all the way back in 1978 and is a decision of the Ontario Court of Appeal, which is the highest court in Ontario. The, the plaintiff was John Clendenning. He sued Tilden Rent-A-Car. John Clendenning had, had rented a vehicle from, from Tilden at the Vancouver airport. So at the airport, he signed Tilden's standard car rental contract. So he, he quickly signed it without, without reading the agreement. And he did, he did purchase the optional collision uh, insurance coverage. So what that coverage uh, deals with is that if you are in an accident and the car is damaged, then this, uh, this coverage would cover the cost of the damage to the car. So, so what happened? So, that's, so let, let's say that's the car that he rented, which isn't actually the car because that, that car didn't exist in 1978, but let's just say that's the car that he rented. So he, he, he got that car, he, he drove it around, and one night he, he went out for a drink. And uh, so, so Mr. Clendenning testified that he didn't have very much to drink. Uh, we don't know exactly how much, but he didn't say it was very much. But he did get into an accident which caused some serious damage to the vehicle. And Mr. Clendenning was also charged with impaired driving and he eventually pled guilty to, to, to impaired driving. So that was, that's a, that was a criminal action separate from, from, this, uh, from this civil lawsuit. Now, because, because Mr. Clendenning had consumed some alcohol uh, leading up to the accident, uh, Tilden Rent-A-Car refused to cover the cost of the damaged, uh, damage to the vehicle. So they were making Mr. Clendenning liable for the damage to the vehicle. So, so Tilden Rent-A-Car was relying on a, on a clause that was buried uh, in the fine print of the contract. It was actually on, on the flip side uh, of the contract. The wording was not exactly the way I have here. It was a little bit more complicated, but this, this essentially uh, you know, g uh, gives you an idea of what, what, the, what the legal wording was meant to do. So, so the wording I have here is that collision insurance coverage will not apply if the customer has consumed any quantity of alcohol. So, so, so the, the key word there was any. So whether it be you know, one drink or half a drink or, or 10 or 12 drinks, it didn't matter. If there was any alcohol consumed, then that collision insurance coverage would not, would not apply. So, so again, Tilden denied coverage for the damage based on that, on that particular exclusion clause. When this case was appealed to the Ontario Court of Appeal, you know, they said that Mr. Clendenning's signature on the contract was not a true acceptance of the contract terms. And it, it was not because they felt that this particular clause was onerous and unusual and that such an onerous and unusual term requires reasonable notice to the customer and also reasonable opportunity for the customer to understand and appreciate what he was doing. So Mr. Clendenning had neither the reasonable notice nor the reasonable opportunity to understand or appreciate what he was doing. Therefore, that clause is invalid and Tilden had to cover the cost of the damage to the vehicle.